Presenting the award for best sound, a woman who is one of the most beautiful sights ever captured on motion picture film, and the bright young leading man who made Mr. Mom the comedy event of the year, Christy Brinkley and Michael Keaton. This award is uh, for the best facelift. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, <laughs> for half a century, movies have been made with sound. And every year, that sound has been more and more refined. The nominated films this year show a quality that approaches perfection. And those films and their sound artists are... Okay. Alan R. Splett, Todd Buckelhyde, Randy Tom, David Parker for Never Cry Wolf. Ben Burt, Gary Summers, Randy Tom, and Tony Dow for Return of the Jedi. Uh, Mark Berger, Tom Scott, Randy Tom, having a big year. And David McMillan for The Right Stuff. Donald O. Mitchell, Rick Klein, Kevin O'Connell, and Jim Alexander for Terms of Endearment. Okay. Michael J. Kohat, Carlos de Larios, my mate will be very proud, Aaron Rochin, and Willie D. Burton for War Games. And the winners are Mark Berger, Tom Scott, Randy Tom, and David McMillan for the right stuff. <laughs> To all the members of the Academy, thank you very much for listening. Uh, there are a lot of people involved. We're going to name them all, but we're going to break the sound barrier doing it, so it'll be all right. Uh, the producers, Bob Chadoff, Urban Winkler, all the people at the Ladd Company, Gareth Wigan, to uh, Roy Siegel at the Salzance Film Center in Berkeley, where we mix the film. Uh, on the home front, my wife, Susan Wayngraff, Anya and Matthew, my kids, for putting up with me when I wasn't there. And most of all, to a guy who was always there pushing the outside of the envelope, giving us the time, the enthusiasm, and the strength to carry on to give a great soundtrack for his great picture, our director, Phil Kaufman. We also have to recognize Todd Buckelheide and Andy Wiskus, wonderful talents. They were the fourth and fifth men on our crew. Steve Sutter, also uh, the fellows at Warner Hollywood for such all their help, Dolby Labs, Walter Murch and Cotty Keese. And Barbara, CJ, Denny, Diana, John, Karen, Pat, Tim, Twiggy, Vivian, Jay Buckelhyde, to uh, Walter Murch and Ben Burt, my teachers, Stephanie Boris, thank you. And my guys, Steve Powell and Danny Benson, and you can see the bra break with the neck the neck. Don't go away, folks. Plenty more technical awards coming up. <laughs> Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is the 50th anniversary of the film debut of one of the most illustrious names in motion picture history. Now, here's a point to ponder. The peculiar nature of theatrical fame. Obviously, it's not easy to become a star. Perhaps less obvious is how difficult it is to remain one, especially for 50 long years. Talent is not enough. Personality is not enough. Charisma is not enough takes a combination of all these things, plus a magic something that no one has been able to define. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, Donald couldn't be here tonight. He's celebrating his birthday elsewhere, obviously. I, all right, all right, I stand corrected. All of Donald couldn't be here tonight, but his voice is here. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the voice of Donald Duck for all these 50 years, Mr. Clarence Ducky Nash. Clarence, it's nice to have you here. Thank you very much. I love you all. Oh. 
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mrs. Nash must have led an interesting life. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>